You never see it. You can't smell it. You can't hold it in your hands. But gravity is the reason your coffee doesn't float out of your mug every morning. It's the reason the moon stays in orbit, the reason tides rise and fall, and the reason you don't fly off the Earth when you jump. But even though gravity literally holds our world and the entire universe together, most of us barely think about it. Today, we're fixing that. Because gravity isn't just a background force, it's the architect of everything you know. And once you see how deeply it shapes your life, your body, your planet, and the cosmos, you'll never take it for granted again. Let's rewind the clock, way back, big bang back. When the universe exploded into being, it wasn't orderly. It was a chaotic soup of energy and particles flying in all directions. That could have been the end of the story. But gravity had other plans. It pulled, just a little at first. It clumped particles together, forming clouds. Those clouds became stars, stars gathered into galaxies, galaxies formed clusters, clusters became superclusters. Gravity took chaos and gave it structure. It didn't shout, but it shaped. Every planet, moon, asteroid, and black whole exists because gravity sculpted them from cosmic dust. Without gravity, space would just be a dark, expanding fog. No galaxies, no stars, no Earth, and without Earth, no pizza. So yeah, gravity gave us pizza. Gravity is the reason you can drop a ball, pour water, or even just take a step forward. But it's also the reason stars ignite, black holes spin, and galaxies collide in slow motion ballets over billions of years. It's the most understated force in the universe and the most loyal. Your body is a gravity machine. Everything about you evolves evolved to work in a 1G environment. Your bones are dense because they've adapted to resist the pull of Earth. Your muscles work constantly, even when standing still, to keep you upright. Your inner ear has little crystals floating in fluid that help you balance thanks to gravity. Even your blood flow is gravity dependent. Your heart pumps harder to send blood to your brain. Without gravity, that regulation falls apart. That's why astronauts in space get puffy faces, thinner legs, and need to exercise daily just to keep from wasting away. But gravity isn't just physical, it's psychological. In in zero gravity, people get disoriented, anxious, detached. Humans need the sense of down. We crave stability. Grounding isn't just metaphor, it's biology. Even newborns react to gravity instinctively. Place a baby on its back and it learns to push against the ground. Toddlers stumble and fall, not because they hate walking, but because they're learning to partner with gravity. Let's play a game. Imagine gravity disappears. First, the atmosphere floats off. Air molecules are no longer pulled down, so they drift into space. You have about 30 seconds to breathe. Then the oceans go. Water blobs begin to rise and drift. Rivers lift out of their beds. Rain doesn't fall, it just hovers. Plants die. Animals float. Chaos. The Earth itself begins to unravel. Gravity is what compresses the planet into a sphere. Without it, tectonic plates separate. The molten core expands and cools. Earth becomes a drifting rubble pile. And you? You float, too. Your feet leave the ground. Buildings disassemble. Cars, cats, couches, they all lift. You try to grab something. There's nothing to grab. No gravity means no life. Even the Earth's magnetic field would collapse over time. Solar radiation would pour in. The sky would turn strange shades as particles drifted. Light itself would act differently as photons scattered through a looser, freer atmosphere. The world would become unrecognizable. Here's where it gets weird. Gravity doesn't just pull, it bends space-time. That's right, time moves differently depending on gravity's strength. Near a black hole, time slows down dramatically. That's not science fiction, it's measurable. Even on Earth, clocks tick faster on mountaintops than at sea level. Your head literally ages is faster than your feet. Not by much, but still. And that's why GPS satellites, floating in weaker gravity, have their clocks adjusted every day. If we didn't, your navigation app would send you miles off course. So gravity doesn't just hold you down. It shapes how you move through time. It also shapes how we perceive time. Think of how gravity affects routine. Sunrise, sunset, circadian rhythm. Without the rise and fall of day driven by Earth's gravitational orbit, time would be abstract. Floating in space, days blur. Minutes stretch. Time becomes soup. Gravity in a way, gives it edges. Gravity doesn't care who you are. It treats all mass equally. Drop a bowling ball and a feather in a vacuum, and they fall at the same rate. That's poetic if you think about it. It doesn't matter how rich you are, how big your house is, or how many followers you have, gravity pulls you just like everyone else. It's the great equalizer of the universe, and it never turns off, it never sleeps, it just works, quietly, faithfully, forever. There is something deeply reassuring in that.
that. In a world of shifting algorithms, changing policies, and fickle trends, gravity doesn't care. It just pulls. And sometimes that's all we need. We talk about heavy topics, things carrying weight, being grounded, feeling anchored. These metaphors exist because gravity is built into our language, our emotions, our art. When we fall in love, it's not a coincidence we say fall. Gravity pulls. So do feelings. It's the same language because it's the same experience. Even architecture is a tribute to gravity. A skyscraper isn't impressive because it's tall. It's impressive because it defies gravity without collapsing. Every bridge, dome, and tower is a negotiation with gravity. And dance? Dance is a conversation between movement and gravity. It's not flight, it's flirtation. You leap, gravity pulls, you land. Beautiful. We even express sadness in gravitational terms, feeling weighed down or crushed. Joy is lightness, sorrow is gravity. That's how deep it runs. What if we could control it? Scientists are dreaming big. What if we could generate gravity? Turn it up or down? Cancel it entirely? We're not there yet, but we're trying. If we could manipulate gravity, space travel changes forever. No more bulky rockets, just controlled gravity fields, energy-free propulsion, hovering cities, zero-g construction zones, lunar elevators. More than that, medical breakthroughs. Reduce spinal compression. Simulate gravity for people with disabilities. Create therapy rooms where gravity is customizable. It sounds like magic, but so did electricity once. Why did life emerge on Earth and not elsewhere? Gravity may be part of that answer. It gave us a stable orbit, a warm sun, tides that stirred the oceans, pressure that built the atmosphere, a place where water could flow and molecules could bond. Without gravity, there's no evolution, no structure, no selection, no survival. Even DNA, the code of life, folds and functions in gravitationally influenced environments. Biology isn't immune to physics. Biology is physics with goals. Here's the heart of it. Gravity is invisible, but so is meaning. You can't touch gravity, but you feel it every second, just like purpose, just like connection. Maybe that's why gravity resonates so deeply, because it reminds us we're part of something bigger, something pulling us in, something holding us together. Even when life feels like it's spinning apart, gravity reminds you, you're still anchored. So why does gravity matter? Because without it, nothing else does. No planets, no time, no pizza, no people, no stories, no sunsets, no hugs. Gravity doesn't just pull us down, it lifts everything up. And in a universe where everything could have drifted apart, gravity said, not today.